everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and today I want to show you guys how I make a journal out of a Jimmy John's fast food bag. And it should be quick, easy, fun, and a good time. So please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, you can see my next video when I post it, like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. Okay, well... You got yourself a bag and move my inks out of the way here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off and you got your bag and you're gonna wanna take and flatten it this way. So you're gonna wanna pinch the, cause it's usually like that. And you're gonna wanna pinch at the Y here and then just poke it in and flatten it out just like that. So then it just lays flat like that. Okay. So we got that far and then we're just going to flatten it and we're going to want to cover this part. This part might be the most difficult for covering and I'm going to use the art glitter glue just to get some of these flaps just to make sure they're down or we can cut them off too but just to add stability here. I'm just gonna kinda use that. Okay. And I'm gonna take a piece of scrap paper. And let's think about this. So I would trace it. I'm gonna turn it upside down. I'm gonna try to trace it. Let's see if this makes sense. I think if I just kind of trace it like this, you know, like kind of just stamp it down on there. I mean, I'm just, I haven't, I'm doing this with you guys at the same time, but it's an idea and I thought it would be pretty cool. And I love doing stuff with you guys. So bear with me and we will figure this out. So I'm thinking if I stamp it down like this, you know, flat, and then we take it and just trace, you know, get it to the edge here so you don't have to cut that part. And <clears throat> take it and just trace around. So let's go from there. We'll just trace it around. It should fit perfectly on the front. So I will do that in a time lapse and we'll fingers crossed see how it works. All right, so we did that. And let's see how it worked, you know. Look at that. Oh, hold on, it's upside down. There we go. So that's one thing. Make sure you do it uh, the right side up when you do trace it. And uh, the reason to flip it inside out for the scrap paper is because it, it, sometimes these aren't folded just right, you know? So you want to make sure when you trace it like this, it's going to actually flip on top like that. So... So far, so good to me here. And we can always trim it if we need to. But there we go. Little trick. Little trick we didn't know we knew. Okay. So now I like those kind of tricks, you know. So let's go ahead and just do some glue in. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and playing along with me. Getting out your papers and your craft supplies and uh, getting it all done, you know. You know it's a good day when you're crafting. Okay. So I think that should do it, huh? That should do it. Stick it on there. You should have a second to move it around a little bit here. Okay, just make sure you're not gluing this flat part down because we'll use that as a little tuck or a little tuck spot. Okay, there we go. And this art glitter glue sticks pretty good and pretty fast. There we go. Look at us go. Okay. And you know, 
a little bit off isn't is okay. We're, we're, let's ink it. We'll do it ink in, and you won't even tell that there's a little bit of bag showing there and stuff. So. Okay. So there we go. We have ourselves a little front of our booklet. So that's that. And then let's go ahead and do our fold how we're going to want to do it. And what I'm thinking is I want this to... I want this part here to stick out a little bit more. So let's go like this. Check our fold. And I want this to stick out a little like that because I want to do a little uh, tie right here, a fun little twisty tie thing that I'll show you guys. So I think that would be cute. What do you think? What do you think? So if we did that, right? Or we could fold it and then Hold on, hold on. Okay, we're gonna go like this. And this is gonna be the front. So wait, let's try that. I don't know what I was thinking. It needs to be the front. Right? I mean, that's, that's kind of fun. That's a fun little opening like that. And then we can make this a tuck spot over here. We could tuck some stuff in. Ooh, that could be kind of cool. Okay, so I'm thinking let's go in a little bit here just to hide the edge part. Which I guess it doesn't really matter. Because I want to put a little tie here and here to have it stay together. Okay, I'll show you guys again. Let's see. So we're going to have it. You got your cover here. Okay. And then you're going to fold it over however far you want. And then this will be like that. So we'll make this the front. So we can have it open like that. And then we could sew this part or glue this part and have a tuck here. So this could just be the front page. And then we can have a little tuck spot here too. And then put some signatures in. So what do you think of that? Can you guys see it? I think I'm out of frame here. Okay. So there we go. I think that would work great. So uh, let's go ahead, get your bone folders and get it to where you want it. I want to make sure I'm in frame, there we go. Okay, let's line it up. So this is just a fun way to use up some, you know, a fast food bag or uh, any grocery bags that you guys are getting, you know, tons of grocery bags. And this just makes a nice little journal that you could do or a, traveler's notebook or you know whatever you want to make it so it's just kind of a fun little concept here and you can see you can just play along and make it however you want and switch it up and there's no rules you know you are the master of your own creativity here your own boss here so you can do whatever you want now what we have is we're going to cover all the white and all the black and red. So what I have is some avocado. I just dyed some last night and I have a video on doing avocado dyed paper and onion paper. So this is my onion dyed and then I have avocado and some of my, I was noticing when I lay it, cause I lay them out, I lay them out in stacks and it's, it works for me. You can just kind of, and they dry. But when I lay these on my rack, I have like a rack area, they turn out like this. But when I lay them on my towel on a table, they puddle and make cool little, just little puddles in it. 
so it like gets more concentrated there. So I think that's really cool too. And then I got some tea, uh, little tea, cause I tie, dye some tea bags. Like I open up the tea bags and then dye them with it. So some of the tea gets on it, but I think that looks really neat. So it's kind of fun. So if you want like this effect, just lay them on a towel and they seem to puddle up and make just little splotches everywhere. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, cause it did it last time and I'm like, why is it doing that? And I was like, that has to be it. That has to be it. Okay, so what we'll do is I will speed up this process, but process, but let's just go ahead and just cut it in, you know, cut it to size in each area and make sure you're not covering the fold here when you fold it. And we're gonna just glue these down in each section on the inside. So I would do that in a time lapse. All right, so we have ourselves this inside here, and I just left myself a little gap in between, just so when you fold it, it can fold better. Okay, and then before we do the other side, I can tape up any imperfections or whatever you want, just so it'd be easier. Just take some, I just got some regular just tape here, some scotch tape. And I wanted to show you guys, I was using the Scotch Create glue stick to glue down the pages and it works great. So just take some tape here, and just whatever rips and tears you got, just go ahead and tape it before you cover it. But so far this is what we have. And we got the inside, so we'll do that and then we'll flip it over and do the same concept to the other side. And we'll cover this part and do the same thing. All right, so I went through and inked all around with the black soot. I don't know if you guys saw that. I did black soot and I inked around everywhere in the middle here, just kind of around the edges on the other side and just ink wherever you want. And then make sure you're getting all the flyaways. I took my art glitter glue and just all the, I call them my the flyaways, but the ends that are sticking up like usually the corners and all that. And if, when you were cutting around the edge to get the paper off, like say I did a little bit, I cut the bag open a little, so it was opened up. So I just took my glue and made sure to glue it back shut. So you don't want any open spots like in, you know, with your bag open. Okay, so go ahead and do that. We got it inked, we got it all done. So it's gonna go like this. And then it'll open like that. And what I'm gonna do now is go over to my sewing machine and because I don't want this to be like that because I wanna make this little tuck space. I'm gonna sew here and I'm gonna sew here just from this corner to this corner and this corner to this corner just to sew it, just to give it a little bit of, just a little something. And then I'll probably do, probably zigzag here and then I'll zigzag around the edge here just to give it something and uh, I might do some and if you do sew around the edges of all of it just don't sew this part shut because we're gonna make this a tuck too so leave this part open so I'll go do some sewing and see what I come up with and I will be back and show you guys all right so I went ahead and did some sewing around it and I decided to close this pocket up because I really liked the look of it all sewn around so no more pocket here, but you can keep a pocket here. And I kept this one here, so we can have that there. And I wanted to show you guys if you have any uh, 
you should backstitch, you know, when you start and then backstitch wherever you end. But I did not. So I forgot to do it right here. So if that's the case, just take a little bit of glue and just kind of dab it. And then the stitch will stay. Um, so it won't unravel on you. And uh, this art glitter glue works really good, but any any kind of glue, even a glue stick or something, just something to kind of just keep it there. Okay. Because you don't want it to unravel. And then just look for any other that might need it. Okay. So I went ahead and as you can see, I stitched around and I did all the way around the edge. I left this open and then around that edge, just like that. And now I would like to show you guys um, I want to make sure you guys are in frame. I keep feeling like you guys aren't in frame. Okay. So I want to do a little cover on here. So I do not want this glue to dry up. So I'm putting my needle back in. Oops. Okay. So now I'm thinking... I know we did the avocado... But for contrast, maybe some onion. Let's see. This one's ripped already. Just for the background, I want to put this on the cover. Just a magazine. It's just a magazine page. And I'm thinking I want to just rip this a little bigger than that. So this one is going to be... I'm gonna cut it. So maybe let's do a little, a little fussy cut here. So I will cut around this and we will get started. show you guys this I came up with something a little unorthodox here and so we got our cut out I got a piece of paper of uh no this is onion dyed paper that I ripped down and made it the way I wanted and inked it with the black soot and then I took some suede that I have the suede vest and uh, this is why you keep your clothes or if you find something at Goodwill or anything like that, keep it because it's kind of fun to work with, with uh, to make things with, you know. And so I have a suede vest that I did, I have, and I'm going to use Fabrifix because this is great for uh, leather and trim and fabric and all that to glue down. But I'm just going to tack this down where I want it and then... I'm going to sew it on my sewing machine and sew it on. So let's see. I'm, I'm just kind of just winging this and see how it turns out. And you guys can see the end result with me. And I put my fabric fix in these and I've showed you guys on videos. And I got this idea from Pam at the Paper Outpost. And it's a Sugar Bell uh, piping icing bottle. And you get two four ounces on Amazon. Just go check it out and uh, type that in and you'll get... Uh, you can order two of these and uh, this is an eight ounce bottle. So I just keep this in here and then just going to refill it. And then I get an extra bottle in case I need it, but these are great. And it comes with a metal tip and you got a little tiny stream that comes out. So it is awesome. So I'm going to, I kind of like the look I had it and I just ripped some pieces. So I'm going to just tack these down. And like I said, I will be sewing it. So I just wanted those sticking out the bottom like that because it's kind of fun. And this is, you know, this is part of junk journaling. You just play around and if you don't like it, then, eh, you know, you tried. <laughs> and there's no wrong to anything, and that's for sure. So I liked it like this, kind of tilted. And then this one here. And then I want to dangle, this is my cotton, uh, it's like macrame. Uh, rope and I use these for my my tie-dye bags that I make they're in my Etsy shop you guys want to check them out uh, I make party tie-dye bags with lycra and uh, uh, cotton and they're super stretchy and they're perfect for 
party favors and stuff. But anyway, so these, this is the rope I use in those. And I figured, what if I kind of dangle it here and we could do some beads off of it would be fun. So I'm going to put this up underneath and hope it's not too bulky. That is my goal is to put it underneath. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine and see what I come with, up with. And I will show you guys. I'll be right back. So what I've done so far is I added the beads. This is turning out really cute. I mean, that's the fun thing about just kind of winging it and just making something and just going with what you feel. And there's not as much pressure. You just got to, you know, you don't need to map everything out and organize it and do all that. Just, just go with your creativity, you know, just kind of just go with what's inside of you and what you want to make. And there is really no wrong way to do anything, you know. And some things turned out, you know, you like a little more and some things are just like, well, okay, you know, I tried. So that's the fun part of crafting and making journals and just doing any kind of art is what I think. So today, this is what we created. And it's kind of just what inspired. And I think it turned out great. I think it turned out really cute so far. So we got this, the cover, and I glued that and I sewed around and then I glued it down like you guys saw and then added some beads. So we got some fun little beads here. And now I want to add a signature inside of it. So I got my papers here. I got some avocado and some onion and then I threw in a fun just coloring page. So we're gonna take that and then we're gonna fold it in half, cut it to size and then I will sew it. I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew it just right here. So it'll be just sewn in and then we'll get into the end of it here. And we'll have a little fun tuck we can stick in there. And so we'll go from there. So before I sewed it on, I clipped it. Just make sure you guys clip it in place or with something, you know, what, whatever. These are just clothespins, but... Uh, just clip it and then when you sew it won't wiggle around so I did that and we can just get all these cut so I went ahead and just sewed right down just right down the crease right here and we'll go like that and we do need some sort of closure what I could do and I think would work is I'm gonna do an eyelet right here and then we can tie a ribbon or a, I do have some seam binding. Maybe we could do that and just, we could wrap it around and then tie it. So maybe we'll do that. Okay, so we did that, that, and I wanted to do just a little, a punch here, just with the two inch, right? This one's two inches, oops. Okay, yeah, two inch punch. And I just wanna kinda just have something so it's easy to pull things in and out here. Like that, there we go. And then we can take our black. Just ink it up a little bit here. here and that's there and I will get my eyelet setter which I have this it's a crocodile this is a crocodile and we're going to use the 3 16th side so it's a hole punch with a 3 16th and a 1 8th and this is the eyelet setter right here with the pokey part and then the flat disc so that's what that is and let's 
stick with. You know what? Use like a bronze would work. So we're gonna go ahead and take the three sixteenth and just find where we want it. And just kind of pop it through. Okay. And put our eyelet. And then the pokey part goes on the top. Like that. And then you just press it down. And there it is. Okay. And I will go grab some seam binding and then we can tie it up and be done. And I'll find something fun just to tuck in here and then we will be done with it. So I'll be right back. This is what I did and it's not seam binding. I was wrong on that. It is bias tape. It's bias tape. So I forgot that's what it was. I have a bunch of it. And uh, what I did was I, you open it up and it's, uh, it's great for quilting and stuff too. So um, I'll show you. What you do is it's like this and you got two pieces like that and I cut all the way down the middle. I sliced all the way the middle like that. So I cut it and then I used this side and I just did a uh, zigzag stitch just all the way down to make it decorative like that. And that's what we came up with. Well, what I came up with, <laughs> it's just me. There's nobody else. So, and then I went ahead and just popped it through here and through the eyelet like that. And then you got yourself a little tie. Okay, so now we got this, we got all this done and we can put stuff in our little tuck here. So what I have is, uh, I have a video on making these, and this is the junk mail uh, coin envelope. And it's just a fun little pocket that you can put things in. And come check that out. I'll put the link down below so you guys can see it. Uh, I just made that one yesterday, so it should be right there. If I forget to link anything, just write in the comments and let me know, and I can put it on for you guys. Because uh, sometimes I get busy, you know, and forget to do that. But there we go. We got this, so... This would be a fun little thing to find in here. And then just some fun little just bookmark things. And uh, I did this with uh, Mod Pod or Decoupage. And it's just the Elmer's glue and water mixed. And you, uh, I took a magazine image and put it on just a cardboard on a box. And then uh, put a napkin over the top of it. And then just glued that on there so that's just kind of fun so you can stick whatever in there and this is my handmade paper I make and it's rainbow and I get a little stamp on the back so, I mean you don't have to pile this this full but uh, so you got yourself a little just a little pocket to put things in and that and this and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and had as much fun as I did making this I mean this was a fast food Jimmy John's uh, bag to put your sandwiches in and stuff. I mean, and now we made it into something beautiful and it's nice, it has a good texture to it and it's, you know, the bag and stuff, it, it's really nice, it feels great. And uh, like I said, I hope you found it informational and it got your juices flowing and you guys are coming up with great ideas uh, to do. I mean, you can tie this anywhere too. You can even tie it here. I can tie it right there. It's kind of cool. So you can put it however you want. And please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Uh, like, comment, and share. And let's grow together, guys. And keep on crafting. Have a great day.